Hello, my name is Kathy, <clears throat> and today I'll be talking about the attributes of the next Bach flower essence, Heather. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When trying to determine which Bach flower essence to use, it is necessary to understand the characteristics and symptoms of the essence from a psychological position. This is because the Bach flower essences work on the subtle bodies of the human subtle anatomy field. For healing to take place, you need to look at the situation from this different level. So, what are the characteristics of Heather? The Bach flower essence of Heather is used for people who are egocentric and who need recognition. These people can't be alone and they will speak constantly about themselves. Heather is used as the basic treatment for egotism, vanity, pathological self-love, craving for recognition, an inferiority complex, and the fear of being alone. It is used to treat all pathological conditions related to severe egocentricity and an extreme need to talk about themselves or have an abnormal need to be in the company of others. This is brought about by being humiliated and rejected in their youth. In daily life, Heather is used to treat a person that feels the need to boast about themselves out of a need for attention. Its root is in a fear of not being noticed by others and thereby igniting the feeling of being left out of things and the resulting loneliness that ensues. Heather syndrome is characterized by positive but insecure behavior and an excessive need to communicate, usually through talk. When harmoniously developed, the Heather type is a positive person and they can carry that wonderful positive attitude over to those around them. They embody the highest qualities of self-love in its most pure and innocent forms. There is this feeling of loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. Because the Heather type loves themselves, they can truly love others and is in turn worthy of being loved in the true sense of the word. These people are without malice and they tend towards extroversion. They love to be around other people, chatting and exchanging thoughts. This type of thing makes them happy to open up and share their hearts freely. When positively expressed, the Heather type has a positive relationship with themselves and to the rest of the world. These people radiate powerfully and give the impression that they have nothing to hide. Life is a game to them, and they are just happy to have others play along. If they have someone that they can turn to and in whom they can find themselves. If the bond of those around them gets broken for some reason, they become lonely and unhappy creatures. But this happens very seldom, because they usually behave so very well. When negatively expressed, the Heather type develops a seriousness about the competition of life and thereby loses their innate playfulness and lovable aspect and instead manifests themselves in egocentric, overbearing manners of self-assertion. The Heather type's naive happiness becomes controlled and turns into a pathological need for recognition and a constant questing for one's own worth in relationship to others. The talent for communication then becomes an incessant chattiness, which is often filled with constant stories of themselves. Instead of loving their neighbors as they love themselves, their new motto might be, how can I love you if you won't love me first? More than anything, the Heather type wants to be liked, 
and needs others to constantly reaffirm their worth. This negative expression of Heather tends only to speak of themselves and their own problems. These people may even push themselves into the spotlight everywhere they go if this condition is severe. This behavior then gets on everyone else's nerves with uninterrupted reports of the Heather type's own merits, talents, and deeds. Other people can clearly sense their unsatisfied need for recognition or admiration. In other words, an inferiority complex. The Heather syndrome is often very strong in children, such as those who make themselves very conspicuous in playing or being too loud when guests come to visit. This type of behavior often, then, has the exact opposite result than what their Heather type wanted and ends up being isolated, lonely, and humiliated. This state of affairs can hardly be faulted with the Heather types constant talking about themselves. It is, it becomes very annoying to those around them. What they really want though is to use others as a sounding board for their own importance without taking any actual interest in these people as individuals. As a result, most people then feel no great need to be with the Heather type and will make strong steps to avoid them completely. The negative Heather type takes this type of thing as rejection, usually with good reason, or even humiliation, which puts them in even more isolation and makes the egotistical behavior even stronger. As this occurs, their contacts with others grow more shallow and superficial, and by degrees they eventually will become ill, often with problems in the lungs and in the heart. The Bach flower essence of Heather is used to treat vanity and the need for excessive levels of rec recognition from others. The essence will help to instill a natural feeling of self-worth and minimizes these feelings of inferiority that they feel. Heather works to help the person acknowledge and pay attention to their actions, while it also works with the person to stop boasting and arrogant behavior. This essence also helps people with a tendency to be overly chatty. This experience is very helpful in the treating of any illness that has resulted from a humiliating experience. Heather syndrome is a product of unfavorable conditions in which competition causes an unconscious, instinctive self-love to develop into vanity and an excessive need for attention. The Heather type who has already confronted envy vanity or the craving for power in their childhood notices very quickly that someone always seems to be after the position they are heading towards and that they must constantly assert or defend themselves against this. The Heather type has a tendency to strive towards harmony and agreement by nature. However, they do not have any inclination toward or to have any active show of strength in life but instead they try to gain popularity in a roundabout, passive manner, and this is through the blatant, unsubtle demonstration of their personal merits. As a general rule, most people are faced with limitless competitions in life, and for this reason, the Heather type will react negatively as long as they are unaware of their personal strengths. They will always have the humiliating feeling that others are better, more attractive, more intelligent, or stronger than they are. Some common combinations of Heather with other Bach flower essences are as follows. When combined with chicory, Heather helps to make the need to be loved and liked. Combined with honeysuckle, it helps with youthful vanity. Combined with larch, it helps with boasting due to an inferiority complex. Combined with mimulus, 
it helps with an overbearing, pushy behavior that is caused by the fear of being alone. Combined with Star of Bethlehem, it helps with psychic trauma that is caused by humiliation. Combined with White Chestnut, it helps with persistent, compulsive vanity. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.